Happy birthday, dear Dawn. Happy birthday to you. Oh man, it's not a birthday, is it? Do you struggle with the TH sound? Do you feel embarrassed when you say the TH sound? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make the TH sound with lots of examples so that you can start using it confidently. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, it's Victor with Victory ESL, English for Adults. The channel where we encourage you with English. Don't just learn it, use it. Now, let's talk about the TH sound. Did you know there's actually two TH sounds? Yeah, that's right. Now you thought TH is just one sound, right? No, there's actually two sounds. And let me explain to you. Okay, so I've written on the board over here, and you can take a look. So we have voiceless TH and voice TH. Now, the symbols are for IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet. Don't worry so much about the symbols. It's most important to actually use the sound correctly, right? So I have some examples on the board here. Take a look. So on the voiceless section here, we have bath and we have teeth, okay? And then on the voice section here, we have bathe and teeth, and just take note, there's actually an E that comes after the TH, and that's normally the case when it comes to the voiced TH. Now you're still thinking, what are you talking about? Well, let me explain. So when it comes to pronunciation in English, and in every language, there are two types of sounds that are normally found, and one of them we call voiceless. Now what does voiceless mean? It means that the air that's coming from your vocal cords is just passing out smoothly. And so it just has that air passing through. So for example, if I say, you know, like an S, S or a T sound, T, it's just flowing out, right? If I make a different sound like this, Z, instead of S, I make a Z sound, Z. If you feel with your fingers on your vocal cords, it's actually vibrating. So if I were to show you your vocal cords, let's say these are your vocal cords, it's actually vibrating. You know, like a guitar, if you play guitar, the strings, they're actually vibrating, and that's the sound that you're hearing, right? But if you don't, you know, hit the strings, then air is just passing through. And that is what we call voiceless, voiceless, okay? So the difference again, voiceless means the air is just like a wind. It's just passing out of your mouth. And voiced is, the air is not just passing through, it's actually vibrating first from your vocal cords and then it goes through. So if I make a Z sound like zzz, like buzz, you know, like a fly or a mosquito, zzz, you know, it has that, that buzzing quality. And all vowels are voiced sounds. Did you know that? Now that might be for another lesson, but right now I just wanna show you the difference, okay? But in today's lesson, we're only gonna look at one of the TH sounds. So we're only gonna focus on the voiceless sound. We're not gonna focus on the voiced sound. That will be done in the next pronunciation video, okay? So we're just gonna focus on the voiceless sound. Now, before we get started on how to actually make the voiceless TH sound, I wanna tell you that I'm glad you're watching this because you are taking a step forward in learning how to actually use the TH sound correctly. For some of you, it's a difficult struggle. And I wanna tell you that no matter who you are, whether you speak Chinese, Russian, Japanese, Korean, Spanish, it doesn't matter what language you speak, you will have some difficulty with this sound. I've had students who have PhDs, I've had students who are beginners, it doesn't matter what level of English you have or how far you've advanced in your English, you still might 
need help with TH. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Now let's talk about how to actually make this sound. That's why you're watching. Part of it is definitely position in your mouth. And so I'm going to show you that. And after we look at the position, there's actually some other things we're going to have to see. So the first thing is basically when you make a TH sound, you want to stick your tongue out of your mouth and go like this. And it should have that breathiness. It sounds like maybe like a soft wind that's coming out. So there's no vibrating of the vocal cords. So again, listen. And you see my tongue is out of my mouth, right? So basically, your, your, this is your mouth. And then basically, your tongue is coming out of your mouth and you're biting down with your teeth, okay? Now, how much force do you put on your tongue? Don't put too much. Don't go, mm, mm. Okay, you don't want to you don't want to do that. Just put it so put your tongue on your teeth, okay? Gently and then just push the air over the tongue. Push the air over the tongue like this. Now, most native speakers might not put their tongue out so much like I just did. But remember, when you're learning a language, you always want to exaggerate. You want to do more than just the minimum, okay? So practice sticking your tongue out a little bit more than you normally would. And that will help your brain to realize, oh yeah, I got to stick my tongue out of my mouth, okay? So again, how do you do it? You stick your tongue out and you bite down gently, not so strong, but you should be biting down a little bit, okay? So, you should hear that air. Listen again. If you don't hear that air like this, if you go like this, it's, it's not correct, okay? So you wanna have the air being able to pass gently through, and it should be a continuous motion like this. Now, I find sometimes it helps to have some props. Now, I've been teaching English for many years, and it still amazes me when I'm in a class and people say, my tongue is out, my tongue is out. And I look at them, and their tongue is inside, like a turtle's head inside the shell. They're not putting their tongue outside of their mouth. One of the tricks that you can do at home is take a pen or take a straw. In this, in this case, I'm using a straw. You can practice like this. And you have to touch the straw with your tongue. And it tells your brain, oh yeah, I'm actually pushing my tongue out of my mouth. Because if you're like me, learning a second language, you probably struggle. And your brain tells you, oh yeah, it's, your tongue is going out. But really it's not. If you keep your tongue inside your mouth, you know what you're probably going to do, especially with the voiceless TH? You're going to make a T sound. Instead of saying with, you're going to say wit, wit. And you're not sticking your tongue out, with, okay? So remember this rule. You must stick your tongue out of your mouth and bite down gently with your teeth. Get a straw, practice, even if you have to go into the bathroom and practice and just go And that way, you have a little trick and it will teach your brain that you're actually sticking your tongue out because once you're touching it with your, with your tongue, you know the tongue is out of your mouth, okay? And that is the secret to making the TH sound. So get a straw and start using it to help you make that TH sound correctly. I'm not gonna just leave you there and just say, okay, that's good enough. No, actually I'm gonna give you lots of words and examples, okay, of how to actually make the TH sound. Before I do it, I wanna practice a little bit more again. Ready? Let's just practice it again. So I'm gonna go a little bit closer to you now. Again. Now try practicing it at home. Now, some of you might be looking at me and thinking, he's a weirdo. He's crazy. 
He's strange. No, the TH sound is exactly like that. You must stick your tongue out even if you feel like you're a fool, you think you're crazy, you're not. You're actually making the TH sound perfectly, okay? And so don't worry how you look or how it sounds because in your first language, it, this is all new for you, right? So you really want to practice. Don't worry if it sounds weird or strange because let me tell you, TH is a strange sound for most of you, but you have to practice sticking your tongue out of your mouth, all right? So you can do it. Anybody can stick their tongue out of their mouth. And so just keep practicing doing that, okay? But don't put too much pressure on your tongue. Here are some words that I'm gonna show you. The first one, Now, I didn't just give you one word because when you speak a language, you don't just speak one word at a time, right? Now, sometimes I'll just give you one word at a time, but I wanna train you with some phrases that we normally use. So you get to really practice making this TH sound, not in isolation, but in real everyday language, okay? Let's practice. So here is the word, it's, is it tank, tank, like, like a tank that's moving in, in a battle. No, it's not a tank, okay? Or it's not a gas tank in your car, okay? Try again, make a TH, ready? So again, I'm gonna just highlight it. So it's thank, thank. Try again, thank. Let's say the sentence. Thank you so much. 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 That's the sentence, okay? That's how you say it. So be careful. Don't keep your tongue inside your mouth. Stick it out. It's the only way you're gonna be able to make that sound correctly. And let me tell you, how many times do you say thank you in English? I bet you have to say thank you many, many times in one year, right? So you really wanna practice making this sound. Next one. This is a common one. Okay, happy birthday, happy birthday. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, this sound is also really hard. Now, maybe in a future video, <laughs> we'll have to work on that sound too. I like to work on one sound at a time because we really gotta focus, right? So for now, let's practice, okay? Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, no, happy birth, happy, listen to me, happy birthday, happy birthday, okay? Happy birthday, birthday. Try that, happy birthday. Stick your tongue out and that will make the sound perfect, all right? And now when you sing a song, Happy birthday. There's not gonna be any more birds flying in your song anymore, right? And that's what you want, no more birds. You wanna make sure you get it correct. Next word, it's a person's name, it's a woman's name. So let's say her name is Ruth, Ruth, not root, okay, not root, but again, Ruth, Ruth. Next comes the numbers. And this is where it gets tricky, right? So this number is three. Now this one's hard because there's an R and maybe R is also a hard sound for you. But let's just focus on the TH, ready? So do the TH voiceless, it's three, three, it's Three, 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 three. Practice. Three. And that's the sound that you want to make, okay? Don't say. Don't say tree. It's not tree. It's not a tree, okay? My son is not turning tree. 
he's turning three, three. And that's a true story, by the way. Okay? So don't say tree. From now on, I want you to say it with your tongue sticking out, and I want you to say it like this. Three. Next word. Let's add a zero to that. And then it becomes... It becomes 30. 30. Again, look at me. 30. 30. Don't say t. No t. Don't keep your tongue inside. Don't say 30. 30. That's wrong. So I want you to practice again. 30. 30. All right? And that's the sound. So let's say we want to make a time. What time does the meeting start? So we can say the meeting starts at 3, at 3, at 3.30. 3.30. So the meeting, there is a sentence. The meeting is at 3.30. Don't say tree. Don't say tree churdy. That's wrong. 3.30. So practice that, okay? The meeting is at 3.30. All right, next one. When it comes to ordinal numbers, right? Like first, second, and then... Oh no, it's a TH. I hate TH. No, you don't. You like TH now because now you know how to say it. So let's practice. Okay, here we go. Third. Again, look at me. Third. Third. So stick your tongue out. Third. Third. Okay, that's what you want to say. Don't say turd. That's a, something you don't want, okay? All right. Third. Again. Third. Third. Okay, look at me again. It's really important. Third. Third. Today is what day of the week is it? So, today is Thursday. Thursday. Let's practice that one. Thursday. 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 Okay? So, try that. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Next one. Can you throw me a ball? Okay, here we go. Can you throw me? Can you, can you, can you throw, can you throw, 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 can you throw me a ball? Again, can you throw me a ball? I need, I need a cloth. See, this is a cloth, by the way. I need a clot, clot, clot. No, I need a cloth, cloth. Stick your tongue out, bite down, and you get a perfect TH, okay? I need a cloth. I have a sore throat, right? Maybe, <clears throat> so maybe you have a sore throat. How do you say that? Throat. Throat. Listen again. Throat. Throat. Listen again. Throat. Throat. Don't say throat. I want you to try again. Say it again. So, throat. Throat. All right? Next one. This word is actually pretty common, right? Everything. Everything. It's so important. It's important to everything. Everything. Now, it's interesting in Europe and in England, I find a lot of British people say this. They say everything with an F. So they go everything. So instead of saying TH, they actually say it with an F. Everything. Everything, okay? Maybe instead of saying uh, throw, maybe they say fro. Hey, can you throw, a, throw me a ball? Hey, throw me a ball. So I don't know if they actually do. Maybe if you're British, you can correct me. But I would say a lot of times in Europe, I find speakers 
who are trying to speak English in Europe usually learn the th by making an f sound instead of the th. So be careful out there if you're from Europe and you're trying to speak in a North American accent, you really want to make sure you get the right th sound correct, okay? So make sure it's th like this. Everything, everything. I want everything. Okay. I want everything. Listen again. Every thing, thing, thing. Okay, that's the word you want to get. Next, I need something. This word is very similar to the last one. I need something. I need something. I need something. What is it? I need something. Thing. Again, th. Stick your tongue out, bite down, and you got it. Now, when it comes to directions, let's go over this. So we have south, like the South Pole, south. Or maybe you live in the south, okay? South America, not South America, but south, not South America, it's south, okay? Then the opposite, we have north. North America, okay? And where I live in Canada, it's North, okay? North America, again, North, North. That's the sound you want to get. So keep sticking your tongue out. Don't forget that straw, North, North. You got to make sure you practice. It doesn't happen in one second, right? But if you start doing this, you start sticking your tongue out and biting down and practicing with something like a straw, I'm telling you, you can make this sound no problem, okay? Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of now, once you have the correct position and now you know, oh, I got to stick my tongue out and bite down gently, now you can use it. Now you can speak confidently and let's do some more examples. This is a good one, right? Where is... Here's a question. Where is a bathroom? Ah, where is a bathroom? Where is a bathroom? Any bathroom? I just need a bathroom. Tell me, where is a bathroom? Okay, listen. Bathroom. 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 Okay, so let's try that. Bathroom. In a sentence, where, where is a bathroom? Where is a bathroom? Next one. There are two TH sounds I'm going to put in here. The first one is, I thought. So maybe you forgot and you thought um, today, let's say today is Friday. And so you thought it was Thursday. Oh man, I thought it was Thursday. I thought. How do you say that? Not taught, not thought, but I thought, thought, thought. Again, I thought it was Thursday. We did that one already. Thursday. Next one. Let's say you're going shopping and you were trying on some shirts, right? And there's a green one and a blue one. You like both of them. So you would say, I would like both shirts. Both. Both. Not both because that's a boat on the water. You don't, want to, you don't want to be saying boat, okay? So try again. I would like both shirts. I would like both shirts, both, both. Make sure when you're practicing at home, you should hear that, that gentle wind sound like this. Both. Make sure you get that sound. Okay, here's the next question. What month is it? What month? What month is it? Month. What month is it? Month. Month. Next one. You're not sure about something that somebody asked you. Somebody asked you a question, you say, I think so. 
I think so. Again, not I think so, not an F. So North American English, it's a TH. Okay, so listen again. I think so, not an F, not a T, not tink, not think, but it's I think so. Stick your tongue out, bite down, and you got it. Next one. This is a pretty challenging one, but it's an interesting question. And the question is, what toothpaste do you use? Do you use Colgate? Do you use Crest? Do you use Sensodyne? Do you use Don Conti? What kind of toothpaste do you use? Good question, right? So let's try that again. What toothpaste, what toothpaste do you use? Not toot, not toothpaste, not toot, toothpaste. Not toothpaste, but again, tooth, 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 toothpaste. So really make sure you get that tooth. Stick your tongue out, tooth. So you, you kind of hold it a little bit, right? Toothpaste, toothpaste. What kind of toothpaste do you use? Leave a comment in the comments section. I'm curious. Now speaking about a tooth in the singular, you could say my tooth, like it's a singular one. My tooth hurts, ouch. My tooth, tooth, okay? Plural, my teeth, my teeth. So all, maybe like several teeth, right? My teeth hurt, ouch, more than one. All right, let's do one more sentence. And again, make sure it's T-H, not F, like a vampire, and it's not a T. T, -t. Not a T. I'm going, I'm going with my sister. I'm going with my sister, okay? I'm going with, I'm going with my friends. I'm going with my sister, with. Okay, practice again. With, with, with. Try this way. With, with, with. So stick your tongue out, not with, not wit. I'm not going with my sister. I'm not going with my sister. I'm going with, and that is it. So those are some examples that will really, really help you and give you the right practice for you. Don't stop, keep practicing the voiceless TH sound and you will get much more confident. And don't forget to get a straw or something like a pen to stick in front of your lips so that you know that you're sticking your tongue out of your mouth. All right, now I wanna hear from you now. Do you struggle with the TH sound? Leave a comment in the comment section. Again, I did ask it earlier, but I'm serious. What kind of toothpaste do you use? It's got a TH sound. Leave it in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what kind of toothpaste you use. Now I want to ask you another question. Has this video been helpful for you? Let me know in the comments section as well. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. And if you want to see other videos to help you use your English, you can check them out right over here. And again, my name is Victor with Victory ESL, English for Adults. I'll see you in the next video.